At its April meeting, the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission heard from department fisheries biologists about a potential expansion at Dansby's Fish Hatchery in Casper. The expansion is to accommodate the raising of warm water fish species like walleye and catfish. For over two years, the department has been raising cool and warm water fish species like walleye, bluegill, black crappie and green sunfish at Spees, learning how to raise these fish and gathering rearing data to make such a transition happen. Spees Hatchery Superintendent Lars Alsager says the process has been coming along well. 2020, we stocked just around 56,000 walleye into a number of different reservoirs and lakes around the state. And in 2021, we upped that number to just over 96,000. Survival rates of walleye that begin as fry-sized fish to those that end up being stocked has risen each year as well. One example of the learning process, the addition of a self-cleaning larval tank designed specifically for warm and cool water fish species that reduces the amount of daily maintenance. Also, the black crappie, green sunfish, and bluegill brought in from places with natural forage bases easily transitioned to an artificial diet used in hatchery settings that resulted in remarkable growth rates over the winter. And in the long run, that means more opportunity for anglers. Last year, walleye from Spees ended up being stocked in Ocean Lake near Riverton, Wardell-Harrington Reservoir near Basin, and Deaver Reservoir near Powell. The bluegill and black crappie, well, they take a short drive into Casper for stocking at Bryan Stock Trail Pond, and bluegill will also be making an appearance this year at South Worland Pond. Presently, Wyoming trades trout eggs and fish with states like North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Arkansas for cool and warm water fish species like walleye and catfish to stock in waters where natural reproduction is limited. Reducing that reliance on other states allows game and fish to stock at times that are better suited for fish survival, and it also helps alleviate concerns over importing aquatic invasive species. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.